गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द लेसन नंबर टू पॉइंट टू नेचर क्रिएटेड मैन एंड वुमेन एज इक्वल्स सो होल्ड द पेंसिल इन योर हैंड एंड अंडरलाइन द डिफिकल्ट वर्ड और नोट डाउन द मीनिंग्स इन योर नोटबुक दिस इज वॉट द फादर ऑफ अवर नेशन महात्मा गांधी हैज टू से वुमेन इज द कंपेनियन ऑफ मैन gifted with equal mental capacities she has the right to participate in the minutest details in the activities of man and has the equal right to liberty of freedom and liberty with him so in the day when he lived so many years ago according to him man and woman were equal Let's see first the warming up activity which is on page number 30 which shows you how women are discriminated against sometimes made to do the work household work while her brother goes to school and sometimes when she is an adult she is only cooking and looking after the house children and her family this is gender equality you can see on the pictures shown in this page now come on page number 31 see the first paragraph the house and its surroundings are a site of peace in the early morning of april so it was an early morning in the april the house was by a small stream of crystal clear water the stream came down from the green mountains only 2 miles away and all around this house there was a stretch of 100 of acres of fertile land with yellow mustard flowers there was a garden in front of the house and trees of many kinds of bearing flowers of various hues and fruits grew on all sides of the house now come on the second paragraph the courtyard smells of jasmine which blooms in bunches of white pearls the fragrance mingles with the thin smoke that rises from sweet smelling incense sticks the burning incense sticks are glowing at the altar of god in the middle of the courtyard incense stick means they are used for the altar of god third paragraph ashangbi is in her reading room and is busy writing an article she is a middle aged mother of three children and a journalist and women's right activist Lentoi her youngest daughter enters the room she is an intelligent girl she is a very clever girl today she looks thoughtful and she takes a seat by her mother's side so she thinks something and she sits beside her mother at the side of her child ashambi lovingly asks have you finished your study my dear yes mother I finished it last night. Today being Sunday, I want to do something interesting. Lantoi says and waits for her mother's response. Tell me what you want to do. Ashangbi asks her quite amused. Mother, tomorrow I am going to represent the Siroi Lily House as a speaker in a symposium at our school. And the topic is God created man and woman as equals. Will you spare some time to have a discussion with me? Lentoi presses on her mother. Symposium symposium means to keep a meeting at which experts have discussion, and presses on means to persuade something to do by someone. the fourth paragraph lentoi has just had a discussion with the father on the topic 
Tumba, her father, is a husband supportive of the activities of his wife and a loving father. He is a lawyer and a social worker who advocates the cause of women. He is always proud of his wife, the two daughters and the son. In times of need, he extends his helping hand to his wife and children and to the society at large. He does not discriminate between a man's work and a woman's work anywhere. He shares equally with his wife in doing the household chores like cleaning, washing, cooking and feeding the children. Had he not shared in these activities in the way he does, his wife would not have been a successful professional. He wholeheartedly believes in equality irrespective or class, religion and gender. In his discussion with his daughter, he laments over the great injustice done on women in the society, telling her, My dear children, the world is still full of inequalities. We have to find a way to bring equality between man and woman. Her father's words are still ringing in the years of Lentoi. And she tells her mother of what her father has told her. The next paragraph. Appreciative of her husband for his views, Ashrambi says, Your father is right. In no society do women enjoy the same opportunities enjoyed by men. It is because of your father that I feel no difference or inequality at home. But outside our home, I have seen that women have been subjugated in many ways. It is against the will of God. God has sent man and woman to our earth to share the joys and sorrows of life equally. To share his blessings and to enjoy the bounty of nature equally. This is what your topic means. So this Ashangbi and her husband, they both talk to their daughters about what is gender equality and Ashangbi says her daughter that she is very lucky to have the husband, her father, that he is a right person, he helps her mother in all the work, household work and he has never discriminated about the gender equality. Next paragraph, Ashangbi knows well that man and woman are equal. Women, who are half of the human race, are as important as men. She writes and talks about such topics. Her daughter, though her child, also understands well that her mother is not a person of lesser quality than her father. She says, our home is full of love with you, mother. So, Ashangbi, she says of child, that all the men and women are equal and even the daughter she thinks that her mother is not lesser than her father they both are very equal in all the works whatever work is there and because of that in their house the house is full of love the mother beams with joy at the words of her daughter as a matter of fact mother is fountain of love in a family this bond of love is beyond comparison with anything else in the world. It is because of this that motherhood has bring glorified and woman accept the challenges in life to become a mother. Glorified means priest. Showing deep affection, Ashangbi continues, pioneer women testify to the equality of women with men. Actually, Life is not possible without both women and men. Yes, children. Pioneer means what? A person who is among the first to take up a cause, especially in a new region. So this Ashangbi took a first, first step about through the equality of women. To talk something about the equality of women. And what they are saying that life is not possible without women and men, both. Yes, in, if, the, it, if the life should go on, both are important in the life. Lentoi has been fascinated by the stories of pioneer women. 
Her grandmother had narrated many stories of the brave queens like Linthoi and Gambi and Kuranganayani, who were as brave as kings. So, this Lenthoi grandmother, she has narrated many stories of these two queens. There were also many brave women among the common people. These women, as her grandmother narrated, were makers of home, family, society, and the nation. They were civilizing influences. At the same time, they were also adventurers who claimed their shares in free land, loved, and raised crops with their own hands and drove cattle. Modern women have become mountaineers, naturalists, astronauts, scientists, soldiers, and political leaders. This proves that there is nothing a woman cannot do and also that women and men were created as equals. So what they are saying is, before times the women used to do for farming. They used to go to work for farming, pluffing. And now the modern women are also working as a mountaineers, they are working as astronauts, scientists, soldiers. And also there are many political leaders who are women. So it shows that women are also as equal as the men. Whatever work man can do, the same work women can also do. We are not less than man. Then she asks her mother further. Mother, you have thrown light on the equality of man and woman and also have emphasized that the world is still an unequal world. Thrown light on means to give some information or she has explained about the equality of man and woman. Then what I would like to know is if there are moral, social and legal provisions to enable women to express their physical and mental potential and to set themselves free from suppression, amazed at the curiosity of her daughter, Ashang B. adds. Now she is asking about the some legal provisions about the physical and mental potential for the women. So even Ashang B. adds that there are many under the aches of the United Nations. There is a declaration for a new world of equality and it has the following dimensions. Okay, dimensions means some aspects are given. First is equal access to basic social services including health and education. So there should be very equal access for the health and education in social services. Equal participation in political and economic decision making. So there should be equal participation of man and woman in all the political and economic decisions. Equal reward for equal work. Yes, equal reward. Reward means whatever you get after you are doing your work. So the reward should be given equally. It should not be that men should get more and women should get less. Elimination of discrimination and violence against women. Elimination means to get out of the violence against women. So there should be no elimination. Then the mother concluded. My dear daughter, we can affirm along with the United Nations that man and woman are equals. Now what the mother is saying that in last, she is saying that we can affirm along with the United Nations that man and woman are equals. Lentoy understands what her mother means and what the topic of symposium means. Thus in that confidence of success, the next day, after thanking her mother, the girl of 12 years happily rushes out of the room in the bright morning sun. The blue sky meets the range of the eastern mountains. The small girl is always fascinated by the small trial which winds up the distance purple mountain. So from this what we understand is that there should be no just no discrimination in man and woman. Both should be equal. And even this girl, this small little girl of 12 years has understood everything of the gender equality. And she is now ready with her topic to go and perform it and give the speech. So what we have understood is, we should not keep any discrimination between a boy or a girl. Even if she is your sister, she must be your mother, anything. 
do the work equally help your parents at your home don't think that if i am a boy i can't do this or don't think if i am a girl i cannot do this this work is of a boy no everything is equal all can do all works now you all have you all have noticed that your mothers are as working humans yes some of your mothers go to work they go to offices so there are they are as equal as your father but in some houses it is still that mother should not go out and work but it is totally wrong yes so you are going to give this message to the society that all the men's and women's are as equal okay